Right now, we're going to talk about um, med medical kits. Is that what yeah. the a term is for? The I guess of having a medical kit on you and why you should always have a medical kit within a quick thirty-second reach of your personal body. Yeah, mine's in my car. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, we got one here. We got your favorite items, Eliza. Walk us through what you make sure is in your kit. Okay, Boom. so I studied EMS and fire my junior year of high school at a Votex school. Oh, lovely. So um, by no means am I certified in any of it, but it's good to be aware of what you're using and how you're going to use it. So for one, cold pack. Basically, it is um, shake, squeeze, it pops a, it's a chemical reaction that happens on the inside of it. Oh, nice. And it makes it cold. Perfect. CPR face masks. The importance <laughs> of a CPR face mask. Because when you have to go mouth to mouth with somebody, you don't know where their mouth has been. <laughs> yep. And you don't want to go mouth to mouth with that. <laughs> yeah. So I would say keep one on in your medical kit. Um, a tourniquet. Um, it should be, it's standard pretty, issue. Standard issue. Like if yeah. you um, ever come to a major injury, as in like an artery or a vein that has been just uncontrollably uncontrollable bleeding, you throw this on and you make sure you put your time stamp on it for whenever they get to the actual hospital. Yeah. So you write the time of the incident on it, and so everything's documented. They can tell how long it's been on there, what to do. Yes, um, antibiotic ointments, bandages in the sense of like, you know, your standard Band-Aid and um, stuff like that. Throw this on there, it stops infections. It, well, it doesn't stop them. It just more prevents them. Um, triangular bandage Boom. for um, if you end up getting like a dislocated shoulder or anything of those sorts, um, it just, yeah, basically wraps around and it holds it up at a um, position that you know you don't or aren't moving it as much as you probably think you are because you don't know like how hurt you are until you're hurt. <laughs> gotcha. And then gauze because gauze is always good to stop stuff. Okay, now for my pack. This is what I carry on me. I put a medical um, badge on it so people understand that there's not anything other than medical stuff in here. First thing I have to unpack that I love are tampons. <laughs> this can be dual purpose, um, but the primary use of this, if I get a gunshot wound that's not fatal, instant fatal gunshot wound, say I get shot in the leg and there's just a hole in my leg, um, I can punch this in, pull it out, and the, the tampon, what it does to the gunshot wound, it expands and seals the entrance wound so I'm not bleeding out. If I need to use a tourniquet, the tampons help back it up. That's worst case scenario. Remember, everything's worst case scenario. Scissors to cut away thick clothes that um, are is stopping you from getting to someone's so, vitals. So there is an actual difference between scissors and trauma shears. Ooh, please explain. So scissors are like you think of paper. Trauma shears are more heavy duty and they are ridged. Yep. So whenever you're cutting through clothing, it's a lot easier. Yep. Sorry to Thank interrupt you. No, you. good. And then I actually went above and beyond and got myself a, a moldable um, cast. So. If a limb would break, I can actually mold this to my arm so that it will not go out of place. That's very vital to me. I also carry a tourniquet on me as well. My one of the things that I love in this kit is the is the like the the first aid kit that it comes with. I ordered this for like 40 bucks off of Amazon and just added stuff to it. So I also got an ice pack as well in the bottom yeah. for like keeping swelling down. Um, I got your basics in here, but one thing that I would recommend um, the triangle baggage the burn dressing. I also have your CPR face thing, which is very, very important, I believe, just for people's safety and also, um, it just makes things a lot more comfortable. In here, I have latex gloves. When working with a big, messy situation, literally in three seconds, I can put my latex gloves on and be 100% that the bacteria on my hands is not transferring into the wound, causing a bigger issue. Yes. So. Late, That's what I love in my pack. La yeah, latex gloves are a big thing. Um, I remember one time one a little. Thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Don't open, drop it. <laughs> five, ten. Ten seconds later, I got my gloves on. Yeah. So um, one of the things that a little short story, real quick. Um, Go for it. Whenever I was on my way to PA to go visit my family, Ooh. on the highway there was a truck that was completely flipped, overturned, and EMS, fire, nobody had shown up yet because it just happened probably about 
15 seconds before we got there. Um, it was one of those things that you either fight, flight, or you keep driving kind of things. And of course, me being me, um, I pulled over. You jumped in there. <laughs> um, you always want to be cautious in one of those situations, make sure you're oncom oncoming traffic is stuff like that. But um, one of those things is like, keep person conscious. You don't know if you are like, what kind of situation you're in until you're in it. And you always want to be prepared for any situation that you're going to be in. Yeah. So basic first aid. Um, I would say go to a CPR class. Everybody should be CPR for certified. Yep. Heart attacks happen most often in the mornings. Believe it or not, it's actual proven fact of heart attacks happen in the mornings. Dang. And strokes. Sweet. Because <laughs> your body just wakes up and then you're... Oh. Yeah. Stuff starts failing. Yeah. So you always want to be prepared for that kind of stuff and your loved ones around you and stuff like that. But Thanks. No well, problem. Hey, thanks, Liza. No problem. That's what job. I'm here. Guys, stay prepared. It's a simple pack like this, or even just piecing out your parts like that and having them in another pack like this. It's so much easier to have peace of mind knowing that you have a pack ready to go yep. instead of scrambling and wishing to God that you would have had something ready. Yeah. So, after sure. ready, Firestorm gear, we're here to get you prepared. Much love. Mm -hmm. Jojo and Eliza. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I didn't